welcome to CEO.ca. My name is James Patton, and today we're joined by Evan Gappelberg, CEO of Nextech3D.ai. Nextech are an augmented reality and technology company that use AI to create 3D experiences for e-commerce. They trade on the OTCQX under the ticker NEXCF. They also trade on the CSC on the ticker NTAR and on the FSC under the ticker EP2. Evan, it's great to see you today. Thanks, James. Great to be back. Let's dive right into it. Uh, today, you announced some pivotal patent approval. Can you elaborate on the significance of receiving this patent uh, and maybe tell us a bit more about how it aligns with Nextech's long-term goals and vision? Sure. First, I think it's important to understand that this is the first in a series of AI patents that we filed back in 2022 for uh, all related to generating uh, 3D models. This one specifically is geared towards using CAD files. Uh, if anybody's ever manufactured anything, you always use a CAD file to create the original design. And then from there, your manufacturer uh, produces the product. We're able to take CAD files and convert that into 3D models at scale. And that really is a competitive advantage in the marketplace. Uh, we also have our toggle technology, uh, which allows us to use generative AI to texture the 3D uh, model. So it's really what we're trying to build is an end-to-end -end solution. And this uh, approval of this, this pivotal AI patent perfectly positions us for uh, really this next generation of technology, which is going to be shaping our lives for decades to come, which includes, of course, AI, augmented reality, and 3D model creation. So this is uh, foundational technology and uh, really exciting news for the company. Great. Thank you. Uh, you mentioned uh, you know, the applications for uh, uh, moving from a CAD to a 3D model. Could you provide maybe some more examples uh, of you know, how you're using this technology, maybe for people who are less familiar with the modeling space, and maybe how it's going to uh, impact productivity and costs. Sure. So if you think about the production of 3D models, uh, you know, there's, there's a couple of different ways that you could uh, try and create a 3D model. Historically, people used uh, photogrammetry, uh, where you literally would take, uh, you'd have 110 cameras, ringed around a, a, a product that's in, in the middle of those 110 cameras and you take a picture and you now have, uh, you know, like a 360 uh, view and then you use that to create a 3D model. Obviously, that's um, not something that's scalable. Uh, over time, technology has gotten better. Adobe offers uh, software that allows 3D modelers to essentially create a mesh which is you know 50% of the 3D model, and then from the mesh you would add the texture. So you know that's the the leather, the fabric, the color, uh, the material, all those things. And so over the last five years, we've been building technology to improve the process uh, and and allow for the scaling of the production of 3D models, which is a very different thing than making a single 3D model. If you think about CAD files back to th this patent, every product that's ever been manufactured, cars, planes, trains, all, you know, shoes, clothing, couches, chairs, I mean, everything in your house, everything in your life has a CAD file that was created to make the manufacturing of that product possible. So those already exist. There's millions and, and millions of CAD files out there. And every new product that gets made uses a CAD file. Our technology allows us to take that CAD file and within seconds convert it to the mesh. It's not the finished product. Remember, there's two parts, 50% mesh and then 50% texturing. You know, So we could convert from uh, a CAD file into a 3D mesh, which is uh, what this patent's about. And then we have additional technology, which is, I believe, about to get approved uh, by the US uh, Patent Office, which allows us 
to texture using generative AI, meaning first you have the CAD conversion, then you have the texturing, then you publish. So that's an end-to-end -end solution. It literally takes minutes for that to all happen. We do it today for our largest customer, Amazon, and for others. But this patent protects us into the future from other people uh, you know, trying to, trying to do the same thing. So uh, we already are using this technology. We already are creating value with this technology. It already works. It's not something in the laboratory. Uh, and so, you know, today's patent really just protects it, Steve, uh, James. Yeah, that, thank you for uh, giving a bit more context there. And I think, uh, you know, it helps people to understand the size of the market when you, when you realize that, that every product that's manufactured is catted and that, uh, you know, the importance of, of speed in generating those models when you're looking at something like Amazon that has, you know, millions or, or maybe <laughs> tens or even hundreds of millions of products yeah. available that, that could all use that technology. Yeah, and it goes beyond uh, Amazon. Uh, you know, the, the growing demand for 3D models uh, is expanding into virtual reality. Obviously, uh, you know, the Meta Quest is, is the leading VR headset. All those 3D assets that you see in those experiences are created, uh, you know, and they're going to, and you know, these are 3D models. And so you're going to have more and more demand from virtual reality. And then you have on the other side of the table, augmented reality demand starting to really explode with Apple's uh, eagerly anticipated Vision Pro glasses. We think that the demand is going to grow exponentially uh, because both of those technologies the the meta uh quest uh, uh virtual reality goggles and apple's augmented reality are going to go mainstream and you know right now we're kind of uh you know creating 3d models for for amazon and other e-com retailers but when you think about the mainstream use of 3d models uh where there's a 3d version of you james there's you know 3d versions of of everything um, the, the opportunity is just, is just massive. Absolutely. So I guess looking, uh, you know, from that market size, you know, back to next tech, can you tell us maybe just to, to close off, uh, you know, how this patent, uh, advances some, some shareholder value and, and provides growth opportunities for the company? Sure. I mean, we've been investing, uh, James in our portfolio of patents, uh, you know, really since day one, but really got aggressive in uh, 2022. And again, we have roughly five or seven patents that uh, we filed with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office for, uh, you know, our portfolio, essentially, of, of patents that relate to AI, generative AI, uh, 3D model creation, uh, today's patent, obviously, with the CAD. And so all of this is to increase shareholder value. All of this is to, to protect our shareholders and ultimately build a moat around our business, which I believe is going to be very valuable uh, in the future. Evan, thanks so much for uh, updating us on the patent today. I uh, look forward to seeing some more news from Next Tech over the few weeks and months to come. Thank you, James.